Hey everyone, and welcome to this video. Today I'm at Kenny Upol, and I'm actually in Cornwall, Ontario right now, guys. Um, I'm on a bit of a trip to Ottawa right now, and uh, I figured I'd come see some yards for you that I normally don't see. So in front of me is actually a around a 2002, 2003 Dodge Ram 2500, and this one here, as you can see, has the little C on the back there, uh, meaning this one has a Cummins under the hood. It's a 24 valve Cummins, and it's been picked pretty good actually already. Um, to be expected though. <clears throat> this thing must have high mileage because the seat is worn right down. Ah, oh, mileage! 819, 382. I think it says. So this has about 382,000 kilometers on it, which actually isn't all that much. It's up there, but for a Cummins, it's not much. This box side must have been all right because someone cut it out. But the box itself, the rails are just completely toast, it looks like. And the inner fender of the box is gone too, like, maybe they just wanted it for part of it. But I think it was here because of a collision right there. <laughs> Rear bumper, of course, is mangled up a little bit. It looks like it was definitely a work truck. So, it happens. This side is rammed right in. That might have happened here though, but it does look like there's scrapes down the side. So the tailgate probably couldn't go on anymore. Heavy duty rear end. All kinds of bubbling here, but ironically there's not a lot up here. Oh, this was... No, they were going to cut this side out too. The bubbling is bad there, but not on the top for some reason though. It's kind of strange. A little bit more damage here. It's definitely been a work truck. And this was the cab and a half version for Dodge. It had a small rear door, and as you can see, it had a small rear opening and a small rear seat. But, uh, ooh, transmission. That's probably for this thing. That's probably a 47RE or something like that. I think, I think it was a 47RE in these. But as you can see, typical Dodge. rockers or lack of <laughs> despite being oil sprayed it, it still happens on these it's crazy alan raymond cummins badges are obviously gone they would be the turbo's gone that would be gone too but there's actually a lot of room to play under these. I see. I definitely see why people use them as race trucks because they're reliable engines, and they have tons of room to play with under the hood. Unlike the Duramax and the Power Stroke, because the V8 inherently takes up tons more space. I don't know. Had the towing mirrors and everything. This thing was probably a very good runner, not a good looker, but definitely a good runner probably. But yeah, probably didn't plan on getting rid of it till someone hit them either. Or they hit someone else. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button as well as subscribe for more. Have a great day, everyone.